So I think unfortunately I may have messed up when I AI'd my pigs. <laughs> Here's my group of younger gilts. We've got five in this pan. So I had ordered semen, Berkshire semen, to AI them with. And um, I'm kind of wondering if maybe it isn't gonna work. And the reason why is because um, I think I might have got them done a little too early. So we're gonna have to wait and see, I think if they actually took or not. I got this girl done, Paula, when she was definitely in standing heat. She was over here by the boar. This is actually her dad, Hamilton. She was over here by him, standing around him when I AI'd him. This girl here, um, I think I did her maybe a little too early because she seems like she's in heat right now. And I did her um, 24th of December, today's the 27th. So I don't think it would have taken, I don't think the AI would have worked if I did it that early. She looked like she was in heat, but she wasn't really standing as nice as I thought she should. And I think that her riding everybody today probably proves that I was correct there. So she might not have taken, which is a real shame because AI is not cheap. Um, shipping is very expensive. This is the gilt I was talking about in the last clip. I don't know why it cut off for some reason, but anyway, um, this is Meadow. And like I said, I was trying to AI her and I don't think I caught her at the right moment. It was so hard to tell with this group of gilts because they show all the signs for like a week before and then they just go into standing heat that one day. So unfortunately, it looks like she's in standing heat today. So I have her in here with our little boar, but I don't think he's quite big enough to get the job done yet. He's just too short. So she might not get bred this time around, but she's in here just in case by some miracle, maybe he'll figure it out, but he's gonna have to get on a stool or something to be able to reach her. <laughs> so that AI might've been a bit of a fail, but I guess it was better than not trying. See what I mean? He's a little bit short for her. She's quite a bit bigger than he is. He had her in the doorway. She was outside and he was inside, so we had a little step up, but that door was closed and he smashed his head on us. So I opened it in case he gets the opportunity again. It has been a while since I've posted and I apologize for that. I had a lot going on, but I'm hoping to get back in the swing of things slowly. 
Um, obviously the last time I filmed a video and put it up on our channel, we had just got the pigs ready to take into the butcher. Um, I think we took our last pigs into the butcher very beginning of November. And now all of our customers have got their pork back and we got our own pork back. So that job is dealt with for another year, thank goodness. I will say um, it did not go as smoothly as I would have hoped. Um, unfortunately, the butcher shop that we usually use closed down with very little warning. And so we had to switch to a different butcher shop. And to find a provincially inspected butcher shop that has a kill floor was um, difficult and left us with very few options and so unfortunately the option that we had to go with just um, I will just say it did not go as smoothly as it should have and there was a lot of bumps along the way but now our customers all have their pork so thank goodness for that and I just want to say a big thank you to all of our customers for again choosing to support our small farm and buying your pork from us supporting local and for dealing with some of the issues that you had to deal with when getting your meat. I am so sorry for all of that. But anyways, um, we are shifting our focus from butchering hogs to now preparing for the next generation of hogs. Um, we have been working on getting our older sows bred by our boar, Hamilton. He is breeding them for the very last time because he has found a new home and I'm just hoping things line up for him to go to his new home soon. We'll miss him on the farm greatly. He was such a great boar, but um, we are thankful that he's going to another breeding home. So he's still going to be enjoying his life as a breeding boar, and that is awesome. So he should be going to his new home very soon in the new year. And we have a new boar, obviously, but he's just not quite big enough to get the job done. So yeah, I don't know how that's gonna go, but he will hopefully be able to be used um, next summer and maybe and probably next fall for sure so that's good so we have that lined up um i just finished aiing a bunch of our sows um so i ordered berkshire semen and ai'd um three of our gilts that we kept back from our other uh sows so um unfortunately i don't know if that went as well as i would have hoped i think for sure i got one ai'd and one's a maybe and one's a i don't think she got caught because right now she looks like she's in standing heat and i had bred her three days before she was in standing heat i thought she was in standing heat but turns out i don't think she was so she's in with our little boar and like i said he's a little small to get the job done so i don't know she's gonna get caught this time around but oh well it is what it is and we'll try again next time but so we should have three sows farrowing end of February early March and at least one or two farrowing for April maybe three if we can get this other girl caught we'll see we'll see but that's what we've been up to on the farm is just preparing for the next uh, batches of piglets in the spring getting sows bred and organizing all that we just got through a really bad cold snap um, and that also kind of was not great to AI in. It was minus 40, minus 50 with the wind chill here. That's just crazy, crazy cold. So AIing had to be done super fast before semen froze, obviously. So I had to keep it warm until I got the job done. And, and it was really hard to tell if the sows were, or the gilts were in standing heat because they just you know, they wanted to come out, they wanted to eat their food and go right back in the barn. So it was really hard to tell if they had like signs of heat, you know, jumping on each other and rooting on each other and, you know, being annoying and swollen back end and all that. Um, it was hard to tell for sure if they were in heat or not. So like I said, I think I got maybe one or two and maybe not the third one, but yeah. So that's that's been fun. Oh, and then I guess also during AI it was Christmas time. So we were trying to plan our life around family gatherings and people coming over and church and all that. So that was interesting trying to plan my breeding around that. So yeah, I guess it probably just was, you know, a lot of things happening at once made it a little more difficult as well. But other than that, um, we've been doing really well on the farm. Um, just kind of in survival mode at this point, just getting chores done, getting bedding in the shelters and taking care of the pigs. Uh, our chickens finally started laying eggs, surprisingly. I don't know why they started just finally laying eggs when it was that cold snap that was 
super strange. But we've been getting about two to three eggs a day and they're really cute, pretty eggs. They're dark olive and dark brown and some lighter brown so far. And I don't think all of the hens are laying yet, but I'm excited to see what else we get for colors. And I'm slowly starting to plan out what I want to do for hatching chicks in the spring because I know I'm going to want to hatch more so that we have more hens and hens of different ages so they're not all starting to lay at the same time. They lay like in phases, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, that's kind of what we've been doing on the farm here. And thanks again for watching our videos. you all had a very merry Christmas and I wish you the very best in the new year of 2023.